Hey guys, welcome back to my channel DZ Can Toys, where I do reviews and share my thoughts on some of my favorite toy releases. Make sure you guys support the channel by liking and subscribing. I would really appreciate that. Today we have another new review to look at, and it is the Max Factory Figma 460 DX Edition Akane Shinjo from Gridman. So let's check it out and unbox it soon. Here we have our Figma Akane Shinjo unbox. While we check out a 360 view of her, I'll explain some of the background information of today's character as well as the company. So Figma line is produced by Max Factory and distributed by Good Smile Company. The product series was developed by the CEO of Max Factory, which is Max Watanabe, as well as Masaki Aspi. They focus on creating highly articulated and hand-sized figures with a focus on popular anime characters. As for the background information of our lovely character today, Akane Shinjo, she's from the anime from recent years known as SSS Gridman. Inside, she's a popular student known for her talent and appearance. It was a pretty interesting anime, I watched it around a year ago. Basically, we have an anime similar to Ultraman where we have a huge hero known as Gridman battling out these monster kaijus. Without going into too much spoilers, Basically, Akane Shinjo in the show is one of the antagonists and she has the ability to sculpt and create these mini kaijus which then she throws out into the real world and they become real life-sized kaijus and wreak havoc inside the cities. So now that we got the background information out of the way, let's first check out the aesthetics and also the paint job of the figure. In terms of the aesthetics, Figma usually do a very decent job on their anime characters and for Akane over here, it is no different. I would say Figma is probably one of the best companies in terms of creating an articulated anime figure out there. What I love about them is usually is their face sculpt and the anime like eyes. I can show you guys a closer look of the paint. As we can see for Figma and Max Factory, they nail the eye paint for these type of figures. Furthermore, in terms of the aesthetics, Akane Shinjo looks like she jumped straight out of the SSS Gridman anime with her signature outfit of the school uniform and her monster-like jacket. Now, for this figure, they use the typical Figma body that we have come used to in many of the Figma releases. The only difference though here is that we notice that on the upper body of this figure, we have her signature jacket molded into the upper body. So later, we'll check the jacket out more in depth during the articulation phase of this video. All the Figma body is very well articulated and very fun to pose around with. We have the typical Figma joint system that may be a negative for some collectors out there. Some collectors, as I know, they feel like the Figma body joint may be a little bit obvious or look awkward in certain angles. So just to show you guys that, at the back of the knee over here, it's not too bad on this figure. As we see, it's painted into the color of the leggings. But when we have a brighter color, it may be more obvious. Here's another example of the Figma joints looking a bit awkward in certain angles. As we see, the round shape is more obvious when we look at it from the side. For the paintwork, overall this figure is quite nice. As I mentioned, there's some sort of paint bleeding when you look at it closely, especially on the jacket. So let me show you guys details of that. When you guys look at the hood design, we can see a white stripe on the hood. It's actually painted perfectly. Even upon close inspection, there's no type of paint bleeding. But when you look at the bottom of the jacket, similarly, we can see white paint going over the line just a little bit. You can only tell if you look really closely. For me, this is acceptable for a small figure like Figma. So overall, I'm pleased with the paint job, but hey, us collectors want every figure to be perfect. In terms of the accessories, we got quite a few accessories to cover. Looking at what's in front of us, I gotta say wow, we have so much cool accessories for this Figma figure. For this Figma of Akane Shinjo, we actually have a special edition known as the DX edition. The normal version of this Figma comes with much less accessories. For this version of the DX Akane Shinjo, we get an extra computer, desk, interchangeable waist, interchangeable legs, also a chair, and much more. So let's check all of the accessories out in more detail. First off, in terms of the expressions of the figure, we have the normal one that comes right out of the box that's attached to the figure. This is the normal face. Next, we have a grinning face. 
And for the last expression, we have an awkward smiling face or slash evil smile face. Furthermore, in terms of the head accessories, we also have her signature glasses in the show. So how we attach that is first we detach the hair piece. For all the face plates, she actually have a peg over here that you can peg the glasses at. So what you do is peg it in. Here we have the glasses accessory pegged in. Again, due to the design of the faceplate, you can peg in these glasses in any of her expressions. Also, another interesting details on the glasses piece is we can see on the left, it's slightly cracked. This is a reference to the anime. The last head accessory we have for the figure is actually headphones. They come molded into the hairpiece, like that. After you attach the hairpiece to the head, it looks something like this. Here's the side view and back view. Now for the hand accessories, first we have the closed fist that comes attached to the figure right out of the box, open palms, gripping or holding hands, a different style of open palms, different type of gripping hands. This one is smaller, it's probably for gripping the exacto blade accessory that I can show you guys later. Even more different style of gripping hands. So as we can tell, there's actually so many different interchangeable hands. And I assume for the DX edition, many of the different type of gripping hands is for gripping different accessories. More accessory to be shown. Here we have the bag accessory, which represents her school bag in the anime. An exacto blade accessory. This one is the one she uses in the anime to sculpt her monster kaijus. A small notebook accessory, iPad accessory, mini monster kaiju accessory. Here we have some interchangeable leg parts which we can swap on the figure to represent Akane Shinjo when she is not wearing her stockings. This is what we have once we swap her legs out for the ones that are not wearing the leggings. We also have an entire lower body that's molded in a sitting position. For this one, we can also swap on to the figure. This is the end result after we switch the lower body. As we can see over here, she looks very natural in the sitting position as it is an entirely molded part. Side view, back view. Now to showcase probably what's my favorite accessories included in the set of the DX Special Edition release of Akine Shinjo, a computer monitor, a desk, and a computer chair. All of them we can use to recreate some cool scenes of Akine Shinjo in the anime. As an example here, we can see they scale quite well with our Figma. Also on a side note, for the chair, there's actually a rotating articulation to mimic a real chair. Although the wheels here they don't actually roll because they're just sculpted on. But we do have a rotation over here. While we're on the topic of this, we also have this cutout accessory as you guys can see here. This is actually a sticker which we can stick on a monitor and this represents Alexis, I believe, the other main antagonist of the show. A phone accessory and the phone is also cracked on the screen. This is a reference to the anime. Over here, we have the final accessories included. So we have our typical Figma stand with a three-point articulation, a Figma storage bag to store all of the accessories and parts when not in use, and an extra set of hand pegs just in case if one breaks or one goes missing. One small detail I forgot to mention to you guys earlier is that if you guys see here in the promo shots, we actually have a green mat accessory over here. So this piece was actually hard to find as I didn't see it in any part of the accessories but upon closer inspection, over here, the cardboard part of the box you guys see under it, there's a green rectangle shape. So I think what you're supposed to do is cut that piece out but I'm not gonna do that because I wanna keep the box intact. So maybe you can just take any green construction paper and cut a rectangle piece and we can recreate the scene over here in the promo shots. Just something interesting to mention to you guys. As for the articulation of the Figma, it's really typical to your other Figmas. I'm sure many of you guys who own Figma would understand. Just to showcase, overall it's pretty well articulated. We have an up and down, side to side. Arms go all the way up, although it's hindered by the design of the jacket. 
But the good thing is this part is made out of a soft plastic rubber so you can bypass it so we'll have an all the way up all the way down rotation would be no problem elbow bend wrist rotation wrist up and down a little bit hindered by the design of the sleeve here ab crunch waist rotation second waist rotation up backwards of the leg this part is hindered by the skirt design and we have the bend at the knees as for the ankles, we have the up and down, side to side, also rotation, 360. Now let's do a quick size comparison. Figma in general fits the 112 scale, but they're kind of smaller than your usual 112 scale figures. But of course, here we have the Figma Yugi. They will scale pretty well with each other because they're all under the Figma line. Here's a Mayfex Deadpool, a Kaioken Goku from SH Figure Arts. All right, time for the final thoughts on today's figure. Overall, I really enjoyed this figure. It came jam-packed with accessories, especially this DX set. The extras such as the computer monitor, desk, and chair is a great addition to this Figma. An extra incentive for you guys who are interested in this set is that you can also use these props with your other Figmas as well. Of course, if you don't like Figma joints or you don't like the size of the Figma, it's understandable that you might not grab this figure. But overall, if you do enjoy an articulated anime type figure, Figma is still the way to go. There goes the end of today's review. If you enjoyed my content, please remember to support the channel by liking and subscribing. I would really appreciate that. As always, stay young at heart, my friends, and we're out.